Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you have never been welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing some different areas where I invest my money into to improve my personal productivity. There are some things on this list that I don't do all the time. Um, and there's some things that I do on a very regular basis. And before we get into this video, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Why not? Why not? If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. So first on my list on things that I invest in to improve my productivity is I love a good delivery service, okay? When I say food delivery services, I'm not talking about Uber Eats, none of that. I'm talking about like things like Shipt, Instacart, any grocery delivery service. My personal favorite is Shipt through Target, okay? I love Target, but I hate going inside Target. I don't know why. I just really do not like going inside Target and walking around. Um, I feel like when I go in there, I don't find the things I go in there for, but for some reason, I can find it all online. Well, I guess it makes sense <laughs> why I can find it all online. Grocery delivery services are something that I will invest my money in any day because I really hate going in the store and grocery shopping like that's like the worst activity for me and I will go days days unless I am out of water I'm probably not going inside a grocery store the second thing on my list is self-care experiences so this includes your facials your massages your maintenance upkeep your nails your hair anything in that realm i think it's super useful because not only does it um make you feel good but when you feel good you do better like you know if you feel good you're gonna be more productive so it's the same concept as making your bed in the morning this could be anything okay this is this is just my list of what i consider to be self-care so it could be different for anybody. I personally, really, I don't necessarily get my fingernails done, but my toes, my toes, my toes, I will definitely, I definitely get those done on a consistent basis. Okay, so moving on to the third thing on my list is house decor and organization. Specifically the organization. That's where I'm really gonna argue for um, improved productivity because when your space is organized, you're more productive everything is in its place you don't have to go searching everywhere for something like it's not a cluttered place um, you know where everything is at I cannot function when things are not put back where they were supposed to be like I have a place in my house for everything quick little tip about organization is baskets and trays baskets and trays are your best organization tactic because if you want a space to look less cluttered, throw everything in a basket. <laughs> Just in a basket there. Like I have baskets all over my house, in my cabinets, everywhere. Because it's a way to consolidate items into one space, categorize items into one place. Um, and just have a catch-all for a specific category of items. I would also recommend organizing that basket so it's or an organized mess per se. But if you do need to declutter an area, I would definitely highly recommend a basket or a tray. Fourth on my list is travel. Um, that's one of my goals for this year is to travel more and it just provides you with something to look forward to. Like you're working hard all day, you know, you're working hard for a reason. You're being productive for a reason. You're not just grinding just to grind, you know. It's kind of a incentive for yourself. So. I would definitely say traveling is a big productive booster because it pushes you to get things done so you can go on that trip and relax so you're not worried about what you gotta do back home. And finally, this is um, kind of a stretch. <laughs> the last thing on my list is a cleaning service. Now this is a luxury for sure. This could include a literal cleaning service to come clean your house or things like a laundry service. This is based on preference and 
um, availability to yourself to the individual um, for me personally cleaning a cleaning service that comes and cleans my apartment is not necessary because my apartment is so small um, that I don't need that to be I don't need that on a um, consistent basis like every other every other week monthly even if you function better in a clean space then I would definitely recommend um, investing in that area but for me the cleaning service I highly recommend and do invest in myself is a laundry service now this is something i recently found out about i did not know it existed but i would definitely be utilizing that service a lot more a lot lot more because i i don't mind doing laundry like i do not mind doing laundry what i don't like is the folding the folding part takes forever and the laundry service that I use I use such share they will do your laundry and fold it and turn it back to you tomorrow the next day so I think that's highly convenient highly convenient highly highly convenient if you do not have time to do laundry I highly convenient and it's not it's very inexpensive in my opinion like I said this is based it's person by person basis so take that as you please those are the five things i would recommend investing your money in to increase productivity if you are in that market if you are in that space that financial space if it's available to you um i'm not advising anybody these are just things that i do to, for myself to increase my productivity if you have tips on how to improve productivity, please leave them down in the comments below because I would like to know. I'm always in the market to improve, so please let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe to stay tuned for more of my videos, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.